Hi everyone, I'm Mike and this is the Animal Alphabet Challenge. So we are up to we are up to episode G. So in this week's video, I've got the usual A4 pad of mixed media paper, and I'm also using my usual black Sharpie marker pen. And the drawing for today is going to be of a gerbil. So um, if you've seen some of the previous videos, you know that the idea is I'm tackling subjects in this challenge that I don't normally do. And I don't draw rodents very often at all. I actually took a few moments and looked back through some of my work on, on my website and I could find, well, ba barely a rodent to be found. The only one uh, is, a, is a quick drawing I did of a rabbit cleaning its back foot, um, which I did from memory. I'll pop that up on screen now. And uh, that little rabbit sketch was inspired by my pet rabbit that I had many years ago. And, you know, if, you ever, if you've ever had a pet, you'll know that you just kind of get to know them in terms of how to draw them, just because you watch them so much, you know, how they clean, how they run, how they roll over, all that stuff. So having that pet rabbit for all those years, uh, even though it was, a, you know, he passed away a long, long time ago now, um, I'm still able to remember how, you know, the, the mechanics of a rabbit, if you like. Um, anyway, so back to the, the, the gerbil that we're working on today. You can see I've outlined uh, the head and I'm working on the body and the front paw now. And as uh, is often the case for these alphabet challenge videos, I'm taking my reference image from Pixabay, which is a free website, which um, and it allows you to use royalty free photographs. So you have to create an account, but it's free to you, free to do that. And then if you want to, you can upload photos of your own that you're willing for, for, you know, for other people to use for free. Um, so it's a really cool website. Uh, what I often do is I will, you know, take the reference photo and maybe I'll, f I'll mirror it, I'll mirror it, you know, flip it so that I'm not copying exactly the photograph. And it's rare that I'll try, you know, I won't try to replicate the photograph. I'll just use it as a reference. Um, anyway, while I was chatting away here, you can see we've got this little gerbil one paw poised lifted off the ground uh, and the other three firmly on the ground and so what I'm doing now is having put in some relatively light line work with the sharpie uh, I'm going around and making some of that a bit bolder and adding kind of a fluffy hairy texture to some of the line work because obviously rodents have uh, hairy bodies in general um, so the other idea of using the sharpie marker pen is it's forcing me to make quick bold decisions you know even though you can get a little bit of variation in the tone I can't easily rub out uh, the marks that I make so for example the right hand eye that I'm coloring in there I think I've done that a little bit too dark but I'm gonna have to live with that so the eye looks a little bit dead there whereas the one on the left looks much livelier because I left a little bit of the paper um, uncoated with ink so that created a nice highlight but we'll press on so having just put in a few whiskers we're now shading in the bridge of the nose and notice that the line work I'm using follows the contours of the animal but also the direction that the fur will be falling in as well or the hair would be falling in and I'm continuing in that vein as I move around the the gerbil but just adding on that front uh, leg there a few a few lines of crosshatch to help create a sense of three dimensions and even on the, the areas of deep shadow I'm trying to keep in mind the direction of the line work I'm, I'm using. So the other cool thing with this really short time limit is that uh, you know I have to make decisions. I can, I, there's no time to you know to mess about and you know, be too carefully considered. You just have to try and get the essence of the animal down on the page as quickly as possible. And, and that's why it's good fun. That's why I'm enjoying doing it. Um, so as I said, I haven't, haven't drawn too many rodents. I, I suppose the closest thing that I've done recently is I did a few beaver drawings. Um, so I'll pop some of those up on screen in a moment um, in between, you know, glimpses of the current drawing. Uh, and some of these I did, I painted, um, and, and then also this one which I did mixed media. So a combination of ballpoint pen and alcohol-based marker, which is a really lovely combo. Uh, so I did two drawings with the ballpoint pen and the alcohol based marker. I'll, put, I'll pop those up on screen now. And then also here's the painting of the beaver which I actually featured on the YouTube channel. But back to our little gerbil and you can see that one's pretty much done. I've put in a horizon line and a quick signature there. But let's just have a quick look. Yeah so it needs a few, still a few finishing touches. 
So just trying to improve that right hand eye within the limits of the time and the materials I've allowed myself. I could of course go in with some acrylic and put a little highlight in that eye, but just adding a bit more character and definition to the to the lids around the eye on the right. But I think in some ways I've you know gone in a little bit heavy handed with that. So I'm not sure I've improved things there. Um, yeah, I think the eye looks even probably slightly worse on the right now, but you know, there we go. Uh, as I said, these are quick five minute sketches, so we do what we can. But on the whole, the drill has got a yeah, nice little character and not too bad a sketch. But anyway, I'll be back next week with episode H. So there's the finished pick of the gerbil, and I hope to see you on Sunday for the next episode of the Sunday Art Show. And as I said, I'll be back next week, in the middle of next week with the next episode of the Animal Alphabet Challenge. Please remember to subscribe, and thanks very much for watching.